Welcome. This is a short instructional video on using the ski lift technique as an adjunctive measure to your long axis view of the vessel with in-plane needle guidance. As you can see on our demonstration video, the left side of the screen shows a phantom with a standard size linear array probe without sterile sheath just for demonstration purposes with the indicator highlighted in red. On the right of the screen, you see the actual ultrasound image that is being obtained during this procedure. Two criticisms of using a long axis technique is that the wider linear array probes can sometimes take up the entire sterile field, especially in patients with short necks. The other criticism is that it can be difficult to guide the needle in an in-plane fashion, given that the ultrasound beam is only one to one and a half millimeters thick. The ski lift helps alleviate both problems. You can see here, we do fine motor movements of the probe in order to obtain an optimized image of the vessel in a long axis. These fine motor movements can only be done if you have a low grip on the probe, as demonstrated here, along with your hand braced on the patient for stability. Once you have an optimized image, the probe can then be rocked with the portion closest to you from where you are accessing elevated off the patient. This also allows you to see the seam of the transducer, which is your marker for in-plane guidance, much easier as it is no longer contacting the patient. You can now place the needle along that seam with the tip puncturing the skin below the probe. This allows you to use the real estate that has been covered by the probe, allowing an in-plane long axis view in a patient with a short neck. In real life, please be careful to not puncture the transducer sheath with the needle. Once the skin has been punctured, the probe can then be rested back down on the needle, and at this point you can now see your needle tip in the soft tissue beneath the probe. Once you have optimized your image with respect to both the needle and the vessel, meaning you have a clear view of the needle tip and a true long axis or sagittal view of the vessel, you can now advance the needle and watch it course through the subcutaneous tissue towards the jugular vein. Once you have punctured that anterior wall, you can assure that your needle tip is within the central part of the lumen and not either contacting the back wall or only partially puncturing the anterior wall. You can now freely aspirate blood, confirming that you are in the vessel.